everyone, my name is Daisy. I'm the curator here at Hale Heritage Centre. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, firstly, I just want to say uh, thank you to uh, everyone for your continued support throughout this challenging time. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about Hale's role during prehistory and also to show you one of my favourite uh, objects from our archaeological collections. So Cornwall was once at the centre of ancient seafaring routes, um, which saw trade between Britain and the Mediterranean. Hale, in particular, was a hive of activity, um, attracting uh, traders and settlers due to its geography. So Hale lies at the narrowest part of the county, uh, and it's also one of just two sheltered natural ports on Cornwall's treacherous north coast. In fact, its name reflects the significance of its geography. So Hale comes from the Cornish Hale, H-E-Y-L, meaning estuary. Today, we're lucky to be left with a wealth of evidence from our forerunners. In fact, the Penwith Peninsula has the highest concentration of prehistoric sites in all of Western Europe. Um, and these are largely from the Neolithic period, which is often known as the Late Stone Age. So Tunecoit near Pendeen and the Merry Maidens near St Burian are just two fine examples. But as well as these mighty megaliths, um, archaeological digs have unearthed masses of smaller finds uh, from this period, which is generally understood to be from about 4000 to 2500 BCE. So, this greenstone axe head was discovered in 2017 at Travassic Farm in Hale, in almost pristine condition. The greenstone comes from rocky outcrops in West Penwith, uh, and axe heads like this would have been mounted onto a wooden haft, um, and they'd also have been prized possessions because of their unique green colour. So this is just one of a large collection of finds discovered by Cornwall Archaeological Unit during the 2017 dig, uh, before the new Gudrivi Park housing estate was built. Um, many of these finds are on display as part of our permanent exhibition, Hale Unearthed, at the Heritage Centre. Um, and though we're closed at the moment, we do hope to continue to share our collections with you online. So do stay tuned. Thank you everyone for watching.